As a target country in the Central Eastern Europe, I would definitely go for Poland. Uh, not because my wife is Polish and I live here on permanent <laughs> basis, but it is the destination for the next uh, uh, five to ten years, uh, subject to political stability. Uh, the next point would be <clears throat> I would uh, invest in retail and in leisure. We should not forget that Poland is one of the best destinations in terms of geographical uh, natural possibilities offering for tourism which is not used as it should have been. So there is a huge potential so I would invest in those products in respect of uh, uh, let's say tourism destination uh, and uh, retail as being our uh, main activity. And in niche product which I just mentioned to you uh, part going into the 56% of shopping centers which are first, second generation which need repositioning and remodeling and have huge potentials just uh, examples which Mailand has done in the last three years or other investors have done uh, a good example is Cliff in Warsaw when Arcadia came and Zwota Terrasa came uh, everybody said Cliff will die. Cliff has found its position with a market niche and at, as an end step as a refurbishment and is still alive and will function. Great, thank you. Sean? Mm, I would go to two countries, spread my risks. I'd choose Poland and Romania. Um, Romania is a large country. Um, and starting from a much lower base. Uh, Poland, because I feel very comfortable here. Ideally, I'd go for trophy assets, but 500 million, I'm afraid, is probably not enough. You can, you can leverage. <laughs> <laughs> so I would probably, I, 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 I've long felt that in the major cities in, in, in Poland, there's a, there's, there's a real affinity with the city centres, but historically all the development has been sort of around and about because of the ease of getting sites. And, and the more I look at the city centres, I, I see sort of opportunities um, for, um, for buying up smaller properties. I mean, you only have to look at what's happened in the centre of Warsaw recently with uh, Mokotowska as being you know, quite a high-end street. Nobody saw that coming. And then you've got Plac Czuczyzzi and the Wittgatz building. Um, and then you have SMIC, the re uh, refurbishment of SMIC. So I, I think there's a lot of opportunities in, 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 in central areas. And, and one of the things I've observed in, in Poland is, is, is that, one, in, in the city centres people do live, uh, whereas in, in, in many Western European countries uh, people have sort of migrated away from the city centres, but we still have people living in the city centres. And notwithstanding our challenging climate in the, week, in the winter, people still do go outside and like to be in the city centre. So I think if you get good quality retail, um, in, in downtown, I think that that's got a good long-term future. Great, thank you. Anna? Before I invest, I would I like to ask you a question. Are you risk-averse or are you risk-taker? That's the fundamental question. <laughs> okay, if you're opportunistic player, if you're opportunistic player, I think uh, uh, Warsaw is still uh, uh, undersaturated in terms of the retail. Uh, Elio was definitely right, maybe not 17, but a number of shopping centers would be required. So any JV partnership with experience development, if there is a plot available in Warsaw, definitely yes. So we, we could be a, simply an equity partner into, into such a solution. Uh, high street is also something uh, very interesting. I agree that there is no downtown in the uh, in in Warsaw. I was uh, on Monday in Düsseldorf and I've seen the small street fully packed up with little standalone houses, three floors, uh, each led to a to a regular like a department store or regular retail operator. Po Poland, I mean Warsaw is lacking this kind of functions. I'm sure it will change uh, once all the legal issues are sorted out, but um, I don't still understand why Nowy Świat or Chmielna 
it's not a high street retail. I, I still don't get it because this is the ideal place to, to, to have such function. So that would be my bet. If I'm a more a core investor, I would buy logistics, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, you can, you can. I'm very easily led in terms of my investment horizons, David. So you can, <laughs> you can. Okay, it seems like we all agree on High Street. So yep. I would ask the uh, the group here um, to think about where their children are going to shop, because it's not about us anymore, right? It's it's really a question of looking at the demographic in the future and. I, I brought two pieces of PR. One is Richard's magazine that has the top five deals um, in 2013 in Europe, I believe, and only one of them's in the region. Um, does anyone want to guess what country or city in the region that one deal was in of the top five? Guests? Somebody must have a guess. It's not Poland. Well, it was in Vienna, Austria. So. Um, and I find that surprising. Not great demographics in Vienna, but was the only deal in 2013. I'm assuming Silesia City Center is not in there. I'm assuming um, Katowice is, yeah, you get Kashmir's is not in there. So, um, but I think it's High Street, Richard, and I think it's um, about a third place. There's, a, a, I guess, a concept, and maybe it came out of the US, maybe not. We think we invented everything, right? So. This idea that we're all looking for a third place, and our first place is our home, and our second place is usually our work, and um, the third place is somewhere else. And um, I would much rather be shopping on a high street than sitting in an um, artificially controlled environment like a mall. And so ULI has good research on demographics and winning cities. I don't want to make this a ULI conference, but there is a ULI District Council formed now in Warsaw. If anybody's interested in hearing about more about ULI, see me. And I think you got to find those winning cities, and you got to find you know um, city center and those winning cities where the next generation uh, wants to make their third place. I might say it could Vienna, could be Vienna. I might also say it could be Ratzlaff, right? Intriguing place, Ratzlaff, and I'm interested to see the future there. Great, thank you very much. Uh